Ever since 1997, when the Hampton line was first introduced, the company has gone at a reputation for a robust built boat, all wrapped around luxury and comfort. And now, visionary boat builder Jeff Chen introduces the Endurance 720, a long range cruiser that lives up to the reputation and then some. For PMY TV, I'm Captain Ken Chrysler, and I'd like to welcome you aboard the Endurance 720 by Hampton Yachts. An important aspect of the 720 success is her high operational efficiency, whether at 10 to 12 knots or at 16 to 18 plus knots, with exceptional sea keeping abilities running on renowned naval architect Howard Apollonia's split chine semi-displacement hybrid hull, the Endurance 720, along with her sister ships in the Long Range Cruiser series, represents some of the finest technology in today's modern design capabilities. But there's a lot more to her ruggedly beautiful profile other than just the outstanding way she deals with sea states that are not always friendly and is yet another area in which this cruising boat excels. Hampton always pays special attention to the machinery spaces on all its boats. And here, aboard the Endurance 720, it's a skipper's and hands-on owner's dream. Let's have a look. On the way to the engine room, we pass through the crew quarters, outfitted with head and shower, spacious stateroom and galley area. It offers the kind of accommodations suitable for the kids and grandchildren as well, with easy main deck access forward and to starboard. The engine room features easy access to all critical maintenance areas, wide open spaces, and some very special features. Any builder worth their salt always makes sure these most important areas on their boats are the very best they can be. And to that end, the Hampton designers saw to it that this area was more than well represented. The pair of CAT 1150 horsepower C18s along with all the other requisite equipment, including two-handed access to such vital components as the raw water intake strainers, exhaust risers, the comprehensive battery control box, Westmar stabilizers, and the pair of five-ton chilled reverse cycle air conditioning units, among many other important systems, makes this engine space something extra special. With her very soul longing to take you far and away, Hampton has engineered the Endurance 720 with important redundant systems to ensure a safe passage as you chase your personal horizons. To that end, you will find backup seawater pumps, a pair of cola gen sets at 28 and 15.5 kW, sight gauges to back up the electronic fuel indicators, double hose clamps on all critical hose connections, two Numar 50 amp battery chargers, hydraulic power steering pumps on both engines, a DC backup pump for the pressurized freshwater system, two water supplies on each shaft log, and just about anything else you might need while traveling, including a special selector switch that allows you to tie in all the batteries aboard for 1900 amps just in case you may need the power for emergency starting. And as long as we're mentioning traveling, the Endurance 720 is all business as well when it comes to providing her owners and their guests with the kind of luxury and comfort Hampton is known for. The interior excitement starts right here at the helm where a vast array of electronics and controls data information and all engine parameters are all as found everywhere aboard the Endurance 720 wrapped around beautifully done woodwork, as pleasing to look at as it is practical. 
Just after the helm is a comfortable seating and dining area, perfect for that informal meal while underway, as well as being a popular social and gathering area. It can even double as another stateroom if necessary. And for convenience, there is also a head here as well. Easily accessed via that masterfully crafted stairway, the main deck area awaits with a formal dining space, bar to starboard, and galley forward. The salon offers luxurious surroundings in which to enjoy some after-dinner conversation or watching your favorite show on the widescreen television. All the staterooms are off this grand hallway, itself presenting an inkling of what you have to look forward to while retiring to the comfort of your sleeping quarters. Superlatives fall short while trying to describe the craftsmanship and attention to detail that went into the master stateroom. Taking full advantage of the 18 foot 8 inch beam, its full comfort and space is evident. From the head, to the finely crafted cabinetry, to the cedar-lined walk-in closet, it's all about making these quarters your very personal space. The same goes for the comfort of your guests here in this stateroom. The head here is also shared with the Four Peak VIP. Back out in the hallway and just before the master stateroom door, you'll find the convenient washer-dryer closet a very welcome and convenient item to have aboard while cruising away from home. And finally, there's the Four Peak VIP with its centerline berth and, as with all the spaces aboard, more than ample storage. For alfresco dining, try setting the aft table and using the grill and sink area for cooking during the day or evening. Other exterior features include the Portuguese bridge design and an expansive foredeck offering a seating area that is as good as it gets for taking in the passing scenery while underway. Sure holding power for the big boat is courtesy of this dual anchor Muir VWC hydraulic windlass with three control stations. For ease of docking maneuvers, there are four exterior control stations, one to either side aft, and wing stations to both port and starboard sides. A robust, no-nonsense construction is evident right here on deck with these sturdy cleats. But there is so much more that continues with the kind of quality manufacturing and production techniques, including excellent tooling Hampton has become well known for. Once the gel coat is expertly applied, a layer of Cormet goes down, followed by three layers of Kevlar, laid down from the bootstripe all the way through the bottom and right up to the very stem and back some 12 to 14 feet. The next hand layup consists of strong, tightly woven Syntex mat. And finally, from the rub rail line all the way down, the rest of the layup is solid fiberglass. And the deck and superstructure features M80 Divinicel coring. No matter which point of the compass you set your sights on, the Endurance 720 by Hampton Yachts will get you there and back in comfort, style, and above all, safety. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your time aboard the Endurance 720 as much as I have had showing you around. If you'd like more information about this boat or any of the other fine vessels in the Hampton line, please visit the company website. For PMY TV, I'm Captain Ken Chrysler. I'll see you around the docks and hopefully out on the water.